Hello and welcome. Today I want to show you how to use your everyday webcam as a head tracking device for controlling the camera within your simulation games. All this without the need of spending uh, money for additional hardware. All you need is a regular webcam that runs on your computer like that one and a few steps uh, have to be done on your computer. We can do those steps together. The first step is to download the system, system libraries and install them. I already have installed them, so it will run into an error. Just execute them and install them. The second step you need to do is to download the AI tracking software tool for basically uh, getting your head movement into signals or commands that your computer understands. You can download uh, the AI tracking tool via this link uh, in the description. Uh, follow it to here and then choose the version and download the zip file. Uh, then you need to download the open track tool that will communicate uh, uh, head movement uh, commands to your game or software, whatever. You need to download it via the given link in the description. Do the same like uh, for the AI, tra AI tracking tool. Uh, choose the version and then download the installer. Yeah. So uh, extract the AI tracking tool and open uh, the executable. Now you need to configure the software like that. You need to insert your local host, this IP, and port uh, 4242. Also calibrate your face. Um, yep. And if your webcam does support 60 frames, I would recommend that. So after you are done with the configuration close the configuration and start tracking as you can see your face is now tracked and now follow the next step that is installing the open track software i i already installed it uh, so there's no need for me to install it just install it and then open it it should look like that. So you need to choose uh, here UDP over network configured with the port you set up in the AI tracking software for 242. Okay. Then uh, I would recommend to invert the outputs of uh, the pitch axis and the uh, Z axis we are setting the checkbox okay so go to output set the checkbox by pitch and z axis and confirm after that you should be able to start the tracking and as you can see the software now does yeah track your head movement and as you can see in the game, uh, it's it's working without any further configuration. Uh, in this example, I use Microsoft Flight Simulator. And as you can see, when I move my head, it also moves the head in the game. And that's what you want to achieve. You can also uh, adjust the sensitivity of the movement axis in the mapping properties 
And yeah, that's how you do it. Have fun, leave a like, and subscribe for more. Bye-bye.